In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a automatic install using HostGator's control panel or what's called cPanel. Now, HostGator has a uh, cPanel and there's many other hosting services that also have the cPanel which look exactly the same. So I'm already logged in into my account and what I want to do is I want to scroll down and if you have more than one blog then you're going to have to you know make sure that you're in the correct one. So I'm, I just created a quick uh, a quick domain with my name t okay for this example and we want to go down to where it says software services. Now we're in my name okay dot com and we're going into what's called Fantastico Deluxe. This is under software services. So we click this. What we're looking at here is the Fantastico window and we need to go to the WordPress and check it. It brings up the WordPress window and what we want to do is just do a new installation which we click here and now we can drop down and we can choose my domain. We leave all of this other stuff blank or except for the admin username. For this example we use the word admin as the username and I'll create a password. Let's use that one. Um, now let's use this one. It doesn't really matter but we're going to put a password in there. And then an admin nickname. Um, we can call it anything we want. But we'll let's just call it admin again for simplicity purposes. The site name Okay, well, whatever your website's going to be named, that's what you put for the site name. I'm just going to put my name in here for now. And a description, if you want. You don't have to do that. And basically, you just click Install WordPress. And it's really that simple. And then once we put the WordPress on, once we install it, we'll log into it. It'll actually give us a link to log into, and it's ready to go. So I'll just click the install WordPress and that's it. Finish installation and it's done. So at this point, okay, it's all done. Everything's complete. And all I would have to do is go to my website, which is httpmyname.com forward slash WordPress admin, and I can log in. And that's it. Uh, email the details. It's always good to put this in there, by the way. You put in you know, an email address that you have, and you can send an email to yourself so you have the login details. And that's as hard as installing WordPress gets. The rest of the videos will cover everything inside of WordPress. So if you already installed WordPress, you don't need this. But if you did not, this is a real easy, simple way to do it. We also have the manual installation as well. Either one works fine. I happen to like this one. See you in the next video.